nice listening to the birds, the chipmunks. Woods have a lot to offer. They, they school us if we listen. And, and that's the path we're on. Once we uh, humbly, we humbly bow and, and we return to this place, well then we are, we are asking nature to teach us. We're looking to uh, find our instinct again. Find our tail. It's, uh, there's a million languages out here being spoke every day. And we focus, when we live up here, we are focused only on listening to the, the human language. And uh, so reconnecting, reconnecting to the heart and getting on the heart path is about learning new languages and understanding uh, stuff that's in our own instinct and our own connection to the earth that will, will, will come up and it'll be like riding a bike, you know, you'll say like, oh, the spirit recognizes these languages. And uh, I haven't heard that one long, I, it's been a long time since I heard that song, right? It's been a long time since I heard that language. So the spirit's happy. And when the spirit's happy, the human being is content. And the human being content means the human being is not um, uh, appropriating and consuming, which is destructive to the planet and destructive to ourselves. We have, we have a place here, and I really do have faith in the human being, that the human being can find where it belongs. And um, if we could get reconnected here to the heart, Again, the head heart talking to the children of the planet because they understand that concept. Uh, reconnecting with heart, spirit, divine energy, um, however you want to look at it. It brings us back to where the path, we were on this path when we were primal beings and we were connected to the earth. And uh, we got our brains moving inventing and creating and, and it took charge and pushed this down and it just kind of ran with it. It ran with the knowledge and it ran uh, self-centered and it ran, uh, it ran and caused chaos because it wasn't working together with of the divine spirit of nature, which is totally connected to us. We are connected to it. We disconnect, it's kind of like a battery. It's like a drill that runs on a battery. You can only run that drill for so long when you're coming from here because there's no charger. There's nothing to recharge that battery. So when the battery runs out of power, this is just gonna go, ooh, it's gonna stop. This is totally rechargeable right here. The spirit is connected to all living things, so the spirit, when you're here and you're understanding the language, the spirit is recharging. And it, it's, uh, it's working together. And when you are recharged, you recharge it. My energy feeds this tree. This tree feeds me. The chipmunk feeds me. I feed the chipmunk. You know, nature, nature has its, uh, its, its own set of laws and rules. And uh, we, re, we, re, we gotta relearn, so. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm relearning as we go too. I'm on this journey with, with everybody else. Uh, the first, first part of that journey is accepting that you are connected to something bigger than yourself, that you are not that important because you're a human being. You have to get that out of your head. And what you want to get into your heart is some humility. And you wanna, you wanna acknowledge that you've been on the wrong path 
and that you want to go backwards so that we can move forwards. And part of going backwards is reconnecting with your child energy. Um, the children come, you know, babies that are born are coming straight from God, right, right from this. And then they're put into this world where the human being surrounds them with just human stuff and starts to mold them into the being that the, that the human being thinks they should be. You are a human being. You are different than everything else. And by doing that, you take the authenticity out of that child. You take the freedom of spirit that it has, that it could become something great and it can become something connected. Um, and uh, we have so many lessons to learn, people. We have so many lessons to learn. And um, I'm, I have complete faith. I have faith and I have hope. And uh, the message that we give out is, is just about that, is ground yourself. You know, come back home. Come back home to nature and uh, bring your heart. Let your heart open that door and, uh, and, and celebrate it. When you reach this spot, you reach a place of contentment you no longer want or need. You, you, you become comfortable with what you have. Because you know that your wants and needs affect your neighbor. And um, I mean the neighbor being this, these trees. Hey, Bodie, what are you doing?